There are over 11 million people with a disability in Great Britain. Disabled people are less likely to participate in leisure and sporting activities than non-disabled people. In this documentary, we have focused on the borough of Hillingdon to find out what sporting activities are available to those with disabilities. During our research, we came across a disability football club created by Rob Burton, who organised a weekend football club at Botwell Green Leisure Centre. Yeah. Hey, my name's uh, Rob Burton, and this is my football school. We've been going for about four years now, and it's aimed at children with disabilities, um, and those who come have maybe a slight confidence issue, they, want, they don't want to play for a mainstream football team, so they'll come here in a sort of safe environment and, and join in. I'm like, what sort of uh, gave you that idea to sort of like, start this project? I was a PE teacher at a special needs school, Hedgewood School, uh, where a lot of these children have all started. And one of the parents one day asked me to, to signpost them to a football school in the area. There was nothing going on. This was four years ago. Okay. So I set the session up. And then teams like QPR and Chelsea do have things, but we're the only one. There is a, a team in Feltham, and some of the guys have now come to me from Feltham. Yeah. We have children here from Kensington, from Slough, from, from Berkshire. Uh, from, from all over who come here for this. So as far as this area is concerned, it's something all weekend uh, for, for young people. So it's pretty good healing them. Oh, I like football, I like dancing, um, I do like muppets, um, and I do like girls. I do like girls. Um, yeah, um, how long have you been doing this for? <coughs> Two years. Um, how did you sort of like come to like sort of discover this? <coughs> I just discovered it. Well, I, know, but I just knew I could meet new friends here. Do you find this helpful? Brilliant. Yeah, he's, he was never desperately interested in football, but um, he always wanted to be. But he was never good enough to play with the kids at school. Oh, but right. here, it doesn't matter what ability you are, they'll they can find they'll find something to do. They can improve their skills uh, in a, an environment where he meets children from other schools as well. So. Oh, you think it's like sort of helping self-esteem? Absolutely, yeah, and, it, and it's self-confidence, certainly. Yeah, so now he will play football uh, at school, whereas before he wouldn't because he didn't think he was good enough. I mean, the kids here, are, they all enjoy it. Okay. They're all very good. It's all helping their, yeah. not only their physical development, but their social development, and it's, it's brilliant. Yeah. Right. You know about like, any sort of other activities for disabled kids? It's quite restricted. I know there's a youth club, but unfortunately we haven't got Kerry too. Um, but yeah, outside of school, it's quite it's quite difficult to be honest. There's not much about oh, so finding football as well. It's quite difficult. There's one in Felton and this one. That's about it, really. Oh, so do you think like, the community should sort of invest in more like projects like this? For yeah, oh, kids? definitely, definitely. So helpful. Oh, okay. really? Yeah. Do you think like the community should invest in more activities like this? I'll be honest. In Hillingdon, I think we're probably reasonably lucky, as lucky as you would be at most places. They do. They run like a sailing club during the summer. Yeah. We can't moan. Obviously, I'd like to say you'd do more, but everyone's entitled. Yeah. So, so I, I think you've got to sometimes be happy, and I think Hillingdon probably, I hate to say it, does a, quite a good job. Next, we went to the Battle of Britain Club, where Val Brooks had set up a blind bowlers club, which had been running for 17 years. Um, I'm the captain of the uh, blind and partial sighted club. Do you think there should be more opportunities like this in the Hillingdon Borough? Oh yes, yes. I mean, we're trying to encourage. Uh, we sent uh, leaflets uh, to various associations, to the local authority, to the libraries, you know, to encourage this. You know, there's about 400 odd blind people in the borough, um, and uh, most of it don't do anything. We then set off to Bruno University to interview the Vice President of Student Activities, Gary O'Brien, to ask about what facilities and opportunities are available to disabled students in the sports department. Um, Gary O'Brien, I'm Vice President of Student Activities at Bruno, which means I'm Head of Sports Clubs, Societies and Charity within uh, the Union of Bruno Students. Do you have any sporting opportunities available for disabled students, and if so, what are they? Yeah, we do. Um, We've got a good partnership with DASH, which is the local disabled charity um, for sport in Hillingdon, and we try and use them as much as we can on big week events uh, to get people involved into, especially the wheelchair sports uh, at Brunel. And we really try and make use of it through our disability and dyslexia service, which is the best in the country at the moment. Okay, um, so the university for my for the Yep, we do. When we have these big events on and we get the charities coming down um, to do events, we make sure they're really massively promoted and we make use of our volunteers as well to help spread the word. Uh, we also try and do it in the community to schools 
um, to that school. So not only get involved with what we do at Brunel, um, but to advertise disability sport and to give an opportunity to those who may not have access to it in this university. Do you think there should be more recognition for disabled sports within the in the borough? Absolutely. Um, if you look at 2012 and how well um, our Paralympic athletes performed, especially since we do have the goal post boxes, um, we need to celebrate it more and make people more aware of how good we are. I think we need a close connection between the council and the community to be able to celebrate it more and really champion um, our athletes, not only at top performance level, but at participation level as well for those who actually make the bridge the gap and get involved into sport. And last question, do you believe the Pimlin Council are fully behind the same people in the London Borough of England overall? I'm going to say yes I do. I think that they do put in a lot of effort um, from my knowledge and communication with the Mayor of London, his passion is engagement and getting people involved. I think we just need to make sure the message is out there. I don't think it's clear enough at the moment. Um, we're going to try and champion it within Brunel and hopefully um, our championing will be a good example to send to the community um, and to the hill the borough. I think we just need to work on our communication and to listen to what our residents want. Overall, we found out that the Hillenden Borough has a number of activities that cater for disabled people more than most London boroughs. They have a number of activities for disabled people of all ages and often present themselves as a very welcoming community. We hope this documentary raised awareness of the opportunities at hand and shed some light on the fact that disabled people are just as able as others. Disability does not mean inability. Gunner style. <laughs> do the dance for now. Let's do the Gunner style. Do the dance for us now. I'll do it with you. Do, right. do right. Nick. <laughs> oh. Gunner style. Hi guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.